Benvolio and Mercutio are in a public place. Benvolio tells Mercutio that if they don't leave, they'll probably run into the Capulets and get into a fight. Thou art like one of those fellows that, when he enters the confines of a tavern, claps me his sword upon the table and says, God, send me no need of thee, and by the operation of the second cup, draws it on the drawer when indeed there is no need. Am I like such a fellow? Nay, and there were two such. We should have none shortly, for one would kill the other. Thou, why, thou wilt quarrel with a man that hath a hair more, or a hair less in his beard than thou hast. Thou wilt quarrel with a man for cracking nuts, having no other reason but thou hast hazel eyes. What eye but such an eye would spy out such a quarrel? Thy head is a, as full of quarrels as an egg is full of meat. And yet thy head hath been beaten as an adult as an egg for quarreling. Didst thou not fall out with a tailor for wearing his new doublet before Easter, with another for tying his new shoes with old ribbon, and yet thou wilt tutor me from quarreling? Okay, wait. By my head, here comes the Capulets. By my heel, I care not. Follow me close, for I will speak to them. Gentlemen, good in. A word with one of you? And but one word with one of us? Couple it with something. Make it a word and a blow. You shall find me apt enough to that, sir. And you will give me an occasion. Could you not take some occasion without giving? Mercutio, thou consort with Romeo? Consort? What does thou make us minstrels? Consort! We talk here in the public haunt of men. Either withdraw unto some private place or else depart. Here all eyes gaze upon us. Men's eyes were made to look and let them gaze. I will not budge for no man's pleasure, I. Bye. Well, peace be with you, sir. Here comes my man. But I'll be hanged, sir, if he wears your livery. Romeo, the love I bear thee can afford. No better than this. Thou art a villain. Tubal, the reason that I have to love thee doth much excess the apparent rage. To such a greeting, villain, I am none. Therefore, farewell. I see thou me not. Boy, this does not excuse the injuries thou that hast done me. Therefore, turn and draw. Uh huh. Do I protest? I never injure thee, but love thee better than thou canst devise. Till thou shalt know the reason of my love. And so, good Capulet, which name I tender as dearly as my own, be satisfied. Oh, calm, dishonorable, vile submission. Alistacata carries it away. Tibble, you rat catcher, will you walk? What would that have done with me? Good king of cats, nothing but one of your nine lies that I mean to make bold with all. As you shall use me hereafter, dry beat the rest of the eight. Will you pluck your sword out of... His pilcher by the ears, make haste, lest mine be about your ears, ere it be out. Gentle Mercutio, put thy wrapper up. Come, sir, your Posado. <laughs> Gentlemen, for shame, forbear this outrage. Tibble, Mercutio, the prince expressly hath forbidden banding the ver in the Verona sheet. Hold, Tibble, good Mercutio. No. No. Uh, uh, uh.